Hello everyone. This is a short update of the latest module that I have finished, an envelope generator. It's based on uh, René Schmidt's uh, design, fastest envelope generator in the West. And I think that is a really cool design because it basically uses every feature of the 555 timer to build up an ADSR um, envelope generator. And uh, I know that there are probably a hundred uh, different versions of this or uh, located in uh, different githubs and, and whatnot. Uh, but I, I still wanted to, to make my own uh, version of it. And uh, it's, it's basically René Smith's design uh, without any changes. I only added a LED basically. Uh, and... Um, and yeah, as you can see, there is uh, most of the components are surface mount uh, components. I started to build this on a, on a breadboard, and that was just to check that the TLC 555 timer that I uh, selected instead of using the Interseal uh, ICM uh, 7555 that René uh, um, uses in his design. I, I just wanted to check that uh, the TLC 555 works and uh, I have no, had no issues at all, it worked uh, perfectly. So um, after that I proceeded with uh, the PCB design and uh, I also made a PCB panel for it. I tried to do the design as compact as possible. Um, so I, I can fit a lot of these in my uh, Euro rack. And after a couple of weeks, the PCB has arrived and I started to assemble a prototype. The build up of the module is very simple. Everything is mounted on a single PCB. And since I'm using SMT components for the most part, I could fit all components on one side of the PCB and put uh, pots, jacks and LEDs on the other side uh, as uh, through hole components. Uh, SMT can be a little bit tricky to uh, uh, assemble or, or uh, solder onto a PCB, but I, I use the method that I take the most difficult components first, uh, like the semiconductors, uh, diodes, uh, transistors and ICs. And after that, I, I take care of the rest of the discrete uh, passive components like resistors and capacitors. And the last thing, I do, do the uh, through hole mounted components. However, when I finished the uh, first prototype, uh, I discovered that I made a stupid mistake uh, in the schematic diagram. So I have uh, flipped the pots in the uh, in the schematics and uh, it turned out that the pots were sort of operating the in the wrong direction which made it really difficult to use so uh, I, I had to fix that and uh, make a second board spin and I also discovered that uh, since I'm using linear pots for uh, for AD and uh, R uh, the those parameters or or those slopes can be a little bit tricky to uh, to to set uh, sometimes so if you are planning to build this I, I think that log pots uh, would be beneficial so um, the schematics, the bomb and the Gerber files, they are already available on my GitHub and there is a link in the description as usual. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching and I see you soon again. Bye for now.